Hi, Carl. Hi, there, you all right? Um, so, teach us. Tell us the process. Uh, so, the process, uh, I fabricate and manufacture the stoves down here. We start with various bits of metal. So, the first thing I'll do is jig this together. There are little locating tabs. So, what, what, what part of the stove is this? So, this goes on the inside of the stove. Yes. Uh, and there will be two pipes that run off the back that run through the stove, these rare channels obviously allowing your air to, this sits on the inside of it. So, so this is like the, would this be the secondary air coming in above the fire? Yes. Okay, yes. Yes. awesome. So, so this is what look, keeps the glass clean. As you look at the front of the fire, there will be a couple of slots at the top and your airflow is running through there with these mini pipes. Awesome. So what I'll do is I'll tack this together. And what type of welding do you use? So weld it our MIG welds with one mil wire. Yep. yep. That'll then um, sit up there cooling nicely. What's next? So the next process is I will get my front. Yeah. Just on the inside here is where that sits. And I see. Fill. Oh, so, so this, this here is effectively where the glass goes? So this here is effectively where your glass goes. Okay. So this will get cut out. Yeah. What happens with waste metal? Do you then cut it out and use it for other things? Uh, if we can utilise it elsewhere for little bits, we will do. Uh, other than that, it just gets scrapped. There's a possibility I'm using something that we've scrapped already. So this is the back of the stove. Oh, OK, yes. And obviously your square tubes will come through here. Oh, and these are the square tubes that attach That's in? That's it, exactly yeah. that. The tubes that go on the front of there, Yes. We'll poke through there. And so all your air system is done... Done on the back From of, the back of the... From the back of yes. the stove itself. Yeah. Mate, it's already a perfect fit. That is what we like. So occasionally, if it's not up to scratch at this point, you would say, no, that's yeah. refused. Say, we... we can't use that. That's a reject, obviously. We'll yeah. then contact our supplier. We yes. get one sent out, obviously, as a replacement. Yeah. Uh, whether we send that one back to them or we scrap it, we leave that at their discretion. So how does the supply, supply the, is it that you're, you're cutting this and then you're having it bent or, or is just is somebody else making this whole thing? So this, these come into us like this. Yes. So I will get them collected from a company in Ashbourne that roll these round nice for us. So, oh, okay, so that's another local company. That's another local company that does the rolling of these for us. So. Then line my basin. The, the bases are countersunk. I see. Yeah, yeah. So I countersink these, uh, which just makes it a lot easier and a bit more of a professional look when the uh, obviously when it's turned over, the bolts are countersunk, which doesn't raise the bricks on the final process when they're in. I see. So yes. The bricks sit yeah. nice and flat on the base. Yeah. So we drop that in there like that. Again. So, yeah. There are locating lugs on the back. We'll yeah. allow this to come through. And all of that gets welded. This will get seam welded all the way around the outside. Yes. Once I'm happy with the location of it. Yeah. We then turn the stove over. Yeah. And I'll put the top in. And again, the same process on the top. So the top is slightly different. Yes. Instead of having the square hole, the square hole underneath here is for the ash pan. Yes. So the ash pan will sit against that. Yeah. Obviously collecting all you there, but rubbish. So the top is like that. Effectively, the flu collar. For your flu collar, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as we can see from the top there, I've done all this. Yes. All the way around. I was seeing, yeah, you've, you've filed all this in. There's, so, show me this air system, because that there's a lot to this. So, the air system on the back, your finished product will look like that. Yes. Mine. This is this is before it's all been sort of wire brushed back and before and yeah, it hasn't yes. been wire brushed. I've gone over it very briefly with the grinder just to get rid of the most of the spatter. Yes. Obviously with the air control being on the back, any spatter at all will stop the air control moving. That right. will then cause issues for your fire. Yeah. So we make sure that is absolutely utterly smooth all the way around. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, the, it looks quite simple. There's a bit more to it than that. So I start with a lot of little bits and all these bits will make that drop in okay so, so they've this... all got locating tabs on again that's connecting into there yeah, yeah so that one obviously sits down there and then you've got that, that one, one will then sit over the top of it 
So that one then goes over the top of there. I and see. And then you've got your sides. And so the purpose of these bits, you've got tertiary air coming in in the middle of the fire. Exactly right? that, yeah. So just yeah. under here, there are a couple of slots cut out of the fire. So that's what they're for. And the final bit we haven't seen is what? And the what? final bit is the little stainless steel carrier on the top. That's get just a stitch weld, three stitch welds, one on the back, one on either side. Yeah. Again, there's locating tabs in there, so it can't be anywhere other than where it needs to be. And this is stainless as opposed to normal boiler this steel? This is stainless as opposed to normal steel, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that is your ash pan carrier. Okay. So obviously, you'll flip that round, your ash pan sits in there, seal tight against that. Yes. And that is what that is for. So we tack just on the top, just to stop the bottom. Don't yeah. Too much. Yeah. Fantastic, and that's your part of the process. That is me then pretty much done with that stove. And uh, to be honest, I, yeah, it's great. Absolutely love it. Love what I do, enjoy coming yes. to work. It is, yeah, it's really, really good. I do yeah, I mean, the, the setup here is, is, is cool. It's small, but it's... It's a very small setup, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Not many people believe what actually comes out of here. Comes out yes. of here, they think we're buying them in, and you know, we're not. Everything is done in here. Yes. We go through having, like I say, raw materials, Yes. Granted, they are bent, you know, from elsewhere. Yeah. But we have raw materials and we have a finished product. But am I right in thinking, like, you're bringing in the materials and then you're sending them away yes. and having them bent? And so it's exactly it, that, even yes. that process is done locally in Ashbourne, you said? There's a company in Ashbourne, there's a company yeah. in Nottingham, but yeah. So we'll have, like, so, so the, front that, uh, the front that's originally rolled there, yes. that will actually turn up flat plate yes. to us on a pallet. And then you and send then, that away and get yeah, that rolled. Exactly that. I'll counter sink them before they go. When right. they're on a flat plate, it's a lot easier counter sink than flat than it is on the. On yeah, the I can imagine. Yeah. Once I've done that, we'll then send them to a local company. They roll them, yeah. give us a call when they're done, we get them picked up. And the process done. resumes and here. It, and it carries on here. So, yes. yeah, they turn up to us as raw material. If we need it bending, if we need it dipping or anything like that, we'll send it to our local companies that we use. Yeah. We then get the finished product back, so to speak, that we then manufacture the stoves. And that is the stove, top half, done, complete, from my side. Lovely job. Big ruin, no problem. Brad, right. what are we doing here? What's the next step? Right, so uh, in this room, I basically do all the sanding uh, that I can do, so all your panels, uh, going over the bodies of wire brushes, just yes. all the prep work ready okay. to be. Uh, so this, this is like prep work for painting. For and, painting, and yeah, I see, yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. that. And so, so then you're onto like doors. Yeah, and... so everything is the same process. So how I do a glass clip is exactly the same on how I do a, a door, for example. Yes, we've got before and after for that as well. <laughs> yeah. You're doing that on like the whole body, like that bit that we've just seen from Carl, he's yeah. just built us one of these. So this hasn't been done yet? No, this one hasn't been done yet, no. But you strip this as well? Yes, pretty much, yeah. Because one, one of the unique parts of these stoves, the bit that sort of I get excited about is the coffee pot. It's called, <laughs> it's, it's affectionately called the coffee pot. Um, but you have some involvement in this. Yes, I do, yeah. So Carl makes this? So obviously Carl puts them together. Yes. Exactly like that. Now I just get it as that surface and And you turn I, it into I make that? It into that, yeah. So see I go I paint them. Yeah. The outside and inside. Yes. And uh, then I'll and put the, the these, rope seal on. These get wire brushed. Yeah, and, these yeah. will get wire brushed as well, exactly the same as the fires. Everything's just cleaned up nice beforehand. Yes. Because like, if you don't do it, it just shows up, shows up on the paint, so you, yeah, it makes yeah. it a nice job. And what, it, like, I, I, obviously we know what this is about, but tell yeah. us about this because I just think it's such a cool feature. So this is this is the ash pan. So when, uh, so at the, on the lower bit of the body, you, you clip it in like that, and it clips in nice. Yes. So obviously this is your ash pan, so you can see the level of the ash building up in the glass, which is, which is good. So obviously you can see when to empty it. And yeah, stuff yeah. Like that, and it, I mean, it's just such a simple change yeah, that makes is. life easier. Yeah, exactly that. I mean, I, I haven't seen one like this before. No. Uh, and then, and then these are rope unique. joined. Yeah, rope rope joined. Because obviously, we need a seal at the bottom of the fire to stop the air from going yes. through the bottom. Yes. So, that's... so what 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 
I've seen some ash pans where it sort of clamps mechanically to the base of the... What holds yeah. this, so, this one in place? What holds this is... So I've, on your uh, top bit of the fire here... Yes, where the ash pan is. Yeah. yeah. This, this just sits with four springs and locking nuts. Can you get it in? Yes. <laughs> yeah, basically it sits in there like that. Yes. Oof. Yeah, with the with the four springs on, and then that will just clip in there. So when you put it in, effectively, you're forcing the springs down. Yeah. It engages, and then the rope seal. Yeah. I like it. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so do you do you do the painting as well? I do the painting. Yeah, I get everything from that stage there, and I make it into the final product. So. Awesome. Let's see that. We've had a fantastic day here today. We've watched one of these, you know, basically built from the ground up. There's a bit of, you know, post editing going on to make it, you know, more exciting. But basically this thing is built from the ground up here in the UK. All the parts are made here. Even the cast iron door is a Thomas Dudley cast iron door. So just like the grates that you see uh, on the ground, you know, on the roads, uh, all British castings, which is fantastic. And obviously, after all that effort, I haven't shown you, but we've got our coffee pot. I think it's such a neat idea to call it a coffee pot. And it clinks in. I mean, it's, you know, it's quite a, uh, a chunk of a thing to put in and out, but I love that little glass window. You see how the whole thing works and, you know, it's a really, really nicely designed stove, so I'm really excited to have a go with it. Obviously, if you're interested in how I've got on, I have actually already made that video, and you can see that here. Um, so, you know, check it out. And obviously, as I've said, if you want to if, if you wanna get one of these, I mean, who knows, it could be this actual one. This one has just been finished and is ready to go out and get boxed up. Um, then go into your local shop and ask to see an Archer Fires Vulcan.